The first reason is Simon, so that we could do something together and I could put myself in his hands, which has been a great pleasure. Second reason is that I never in any circumstances wanted a camera to come into a rehearsal. So this is not filming how we work in rehearsal. Within rehearsals over the years, there are thousands of moments when it's necessary to do an exercise. And out of all those exercises, there's one that gradually, by experiences in different countries, in different ways, from Europe, even we did this in South Africa with young South African actors in Johannesburg, we found that this had a thread in it which could relate to all aspects of the theater process and eventually beyond the theater into life. We did the same exercise once with, in a workshop with Israeli and Palestinian actors for once working peacefully together and at once they found something in the theme of walking on a tightrope that at once related to their own immediate difficulties. So it seemed that in making a film of this, it wouldn't be just making a document. It would be like making a sort of living, dramatic image that's like a little play. And so from that starting point, not knowing where we go, we began to develop something, and this is where Simon took over. Eh, sì, proprio a Simon vorrei chiedere come, come ha realizzato il film, um, come, ha come ha realizzato il film uh, conservando, diciamo, proteggendo la, la, la naturalezza eh, di questi attori, quindi nel, nella maniera più invisibile possibile, tecnicamente come l'ha realizzato? Um, I think for me one of the first uh, objectives I have when I make films is to make sure that the form is secondary to the content, to the that what the way one is telling the story has to be adapted, it has to be changed, it has to be reinvented each time in a different way and what worked last year isn't going to work this year and so on. And so here the biggest challenge was trying to come up with a form for something that was intangible, that was indif nearly impossible to seize to grasp, and that was where I thought about this, and I thought, well, if I have lots of cameras, and they're hidden, I can maybe be at the right place at the right moment and get this, and to actually then be able to put this together so that people can share the experience, as opposed to watching other people sharing the experience. And so that was what motivated me at the beginning to really come up with a system that would allow us to do this. Voglio dire che quando qualcuno come è Peter Brook ti dice ho un'idea, basta. Se l'idea è Peter Brook, ma cosa vuoi domandare di più? Certo, non gli abbiamo mica chiesto, per esempio, a Simon, hai la sceneggiatura, hai scritto il soggettino, ma per carità. Ecco, questo evento uso questa parola ormai troppo scontata, ma, come dire, questo evento non ha ragioni individuabili, specifiche, prima e dopo l'evento. L'evento in sé è un tale fatto poetico per cui tutto quello che c'è prima è tutta la vita di Peter e tutto quello che ci sarà dopo sarà ancora la vita di Peter e di Simon per il lavoro che ha fatto. Io ricordo molti anni fa, signori, che in queste sale spesso si pronunciavano parole oggi impronunciabili. Per esempio, la struttura...
dura di un film. È come se domandassimo a Michelangelo la struttura della pietà rondanini. Michelangelo ti tira dietro tutta la pietà. Ma una parola che ancora risuonava qualche anno fa, lo specifico filmico. Ma vi rendete conto che idiozia? Come si fa a chiamare? Pensate un po', provate a dire lo specifico poetico. Ma il poetico non è specificabile, proprio perché non è specificabile poetico. Quindi cosa dobbiamo dire a Simon e a Peter? Grazie per la vostra non specificità. <laughs> that, uh, yes, that has always, always worried me in Italy. But words, as long as they convey something alive, people, I learned the other day that in Georgia, where there is marvelous traditional music that is handed down through the families, When today, somebody within a family, which they've learned from their fathers and their grandfathers and their ancestors, wants with others to sing a song, they don't talk about singing a song. They say, we say a song. And so perhaps at its origin, while for me, playing, spielen, jouer, suggests the joy and the fun that there is in playing, Perhaps recitare in its origin was that something so natural that we are just, we're not even trying to be actors or performers, we're just telling, we're just telling. So it has its other meaning, which is a very touching one. So at this moment, perhaps we're recitare insieme. In everything of value in the whole of human life. There is something which has a surface, something that we can recognize, we can put a word to, and which has a shape and a form. But that's not what gives it its life. The life behind it, it's like the difference between the shape of a cellulare, of a portable phone, and the words and the life and the music that can come into, from the air, invisibly, into this box. At so this moment, we're sitting here, we're all like a whole block of cellular telephones, but in fact, what's giving us life is something that nobody can look at, nobody can paint, nobody can explain, which is life. Now, in the same way, to find this in any form, and particularly in the form of a living, a direct performance within the box, the cell that is the person, there must be right inside and within each cell space. It's only when there is space that life can come into it. And this is a very delicate, endless search, whether it's in films, whether it's in theater, whether it's in the way you lift your hand, you take a glass of water. There is a way in which I can take this glass in an excited, nervous way, wanting to grasp the liquid, or in a way that I want to persuade you that I'm a real connoisseur and I know how to taste what's in it. Those are all only making the outside blocking the inside. But if it's possible, and that is what all the time in the film we see we come back to all the time, there is a way gradually of reaching the point and this Within the film, I think that Simon has captured moments where you actually see this coming into being, people trying too hard, trying not enough, and then that magical moment when a life comes through the musicians, 
through the performers, through the body, when suddenly, ah, it's alive. And that is a tightrope of form and emptiness. Proprio poco tempo fa leggevo di Renoir che nella crisi del cinema e non solo del cinema della seconda metà degli anni 50, ecco, Renoir disse è nei momenti di crisi che si fanno i film migliori. Possiamo ben dire è nei momenti di crisi che nascono le idee migliori, perché la storia che preme e ci vuol far camminare avanti, come fa la madre col bambino, dando coraggio al bambino e quindi rassicurandolo e quindi porsi qualche passo più avanti e allungargli le braccia perché il bambino cammini. Ecco, gli artisti sono un po', anzi, scusate, questa parola artisti rischia eh, di essere equivocata. Tutti gli artigiani sono artisti. Dopodiché c'è l'artista che è poeta e quindi va oltre la, quella specificità che riguarda eh, la professione. Quindi diciamo che i poeti sono le mamme che ci aspettano qualche passo più avanti.